ABC News contributor and host at the Law and Crime Network, Brian Buckmeyer, joins me live now for more on this. So, Brian, I know you've been following this trial very closely. There have been several inconsistencies in witness accounts. How challenging will it be for the jury to deliver a verdict, and what exactly are they weighing here? It's going to be extremely challenging because you have so many different stories. You have Megan the Stallion story. You have Sean Kelly, the Hollywood Hills neighbor who gave an account. And of course, you have Kelsey Harris's testimony going back and forth between what she said on the stand and then what she said to investigators. But what we're seeing so far is that the jury actually came out with two notes. One, that they wanted to hear Sean Kelly's testimony again. And the other, they were asking about the definition of willful and on purpose. So it seems like weighing uh, those two pieces of evidence so far uh, as to how they get to a determination of who shot who and who proved what charges or if not. Now, there are nine women on the jury and four jurors are black. So what kind of impact could this have given the fact that Megan's story has become part of the protect black women movement? I think it's gonna create very little middle ground. And this is what I mean by that. Either you're gonna get someone who is a black woman like Megan the Stallion, and what we find as defense attorneys is people from similar groups tend to be more critical of other people within their own group. So either a black woman would look at this and say, hey, I, I believe Megan the Stallion. I would have similar um, fears of reporting a crime. Or a black woman would say, no, I wouldn't. I, I don't think my race or my gender affects when I would report. She did something completely wrong. I think they're going to find themselves on different ends of the fence with very little middle ground. Uh, who's gone missing and could not testify is speaking out, asking that the DA and Megan leave them alone. We saw that in Stephanie's piece. What do you make of that? I think the DA and the DA's office and Megan the Stallion's party or group of attorneys, whoever they may be, they're scrambling. They're looking for this bodyguard to testify because he's the connective tissue between Kelsey Harris texting minutes after this alleged shooting uh, that Megan the Stallion was shot. And to the prosecution's credit, one of their strong arguments was either Kelsey Harris is a criminal mastermind who came up with this text message just minutes beforehand or she's lying, which one makes more sense, but they kind of need the bodyguard to connect, hey, you received this text message, what did you think, did you follow up, what else did you do? But without him there, they're scrambling to find him. Now, Tory faces more than 20 years in prison, so how do you see this playing out, Brian? This case has become an absolute circus. If he goes down on some of the top charges of assault uh, with a firearm or even the gross negligence charges, then yeah, you're looking at heavier charges and even deportation. Because don't forget, Tory Lanez is a Canadian rapper. He could get deported for either of those, those two charges. When they ask questions about the willful aspect, though, I think they've already come to the conclusion that he may have possessed the gun, the lesser charge. Now they're trying to see if they can convict him on the higher charges or if the prosecutor has proven their case, I still think it's a guessing game here. I, I don't think he'll get the full 20, even if convicted. He'll probably get something lower, but this case has been crazy. I don't know. Crazy is the word. Yeah, Brian Buckmeyer, thanks as always. Appreciate your time. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.